having a really hard day and I tried to get ready. That women tend to be happier when they are single. I could have married a lot of the people that I've dated. Okay, I turned 40 this year and I've never been in love. I've never been in a relationship. If you hear something or an update about your ex and it just kills you. Women tend to be happier, ha ha happier when they are single. Struggling financially, being alone, having no one there to talk to as you age, you know, no kids. And I always thought I would have kids. I thought I would be married by now. And now I, the closer I get to it and I'm scared. I don't, I don't know. I didn't think it would be an issue of 32 years old. I'm 53. I would like to think that I'm still young, right? The fact that you're 40 and single, still with no children. And now you find out that she's eight weeks pregnant and you so want to feel happy for her. But inside, inside you feel so sad. Ha ha happier when they are single. I'm in the stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and have babies and... You know that at 40, you are running out of time and soon you won't have a choice at all. I also feel like I'm getting older and it's like I have to put some effort into dating or I'm just gonna be alone forever but now I'm just honestly getting to the point where I'm just gonna be the single aunt. But like it's really hard when like I don't have I don't really have anyone to go to like on a Friday night. I am 30 years old and I have been single for over 12 years so never had a real adult relationship maybe i should just give up but i don't know then i feel like if i give up then it's like then i'm totally throwing the towel in and like that sounds and feels sad but really this is crazy it's been a rough month for me and i got cold uh. <laughs> somebody help me i'm so tired of being an independent woman sometimes sometimes like i just want to be taken care of you know, my whole life, I've just been so independent. Yep, careful what you wish for. There is no shame in not wanting to climb the ladder. You are gonna be alone. You're not gonna have a family. Like, I don't wanna wake up at, you know, 60 by myself. And people go home to their families or partners or whatever, and you go home to an empty house. Please drop a like on the video if you think that modern feminism cares more about hurting men than actually benefiting women. I don't want a job. I don't want to be a corporate girly. I don't want to climb the ladder. I don't want to be a boss babe. I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to be the breadwinner. I do not want to do that. You know what I want to do? I want to be home. And I'm just wondering, am I the only person like completely struggling? Am I the only one? Because I've been single a very long time. I'm 28 years old, I have a degree, I'm not doing anything with that degree currently. I just want to live comfortably and be happy and have the time to pursue my hobbies and my passions outside of work. There gotta be jobs that I'm just not thinking of. Okay, I'm turning 30 in three months, 90 days from today. And so I figured since I'm still single, it's probably a good idea to consider freezing my eggs. Freeze your eggs. Freeze your eggs as early as you possibly can. When they call you and tell you that none of them worked, like, you know, like they're mature, but like when you actually do the testing after making embryos, like I, in theory, could have nothing. I think they even used the word discarded. They said they're, they've all been discarded. I really thought this process would like slow down my biological clock and I wouldn't feel as much pressure. And I feel way more pressure now. For me, freezing my eggs allows me to fulfill my dreams on my own timeline without depending on a man or my biological clock. Super, super wild to me that women are going through this whole process, preserving our opportunity to have kids in the future. Meanwhile, men aren't taking any sort of step to do things to help themselves have kids earlier in life. Number one, it's not just about having a kid. It's about preserving opportunity. Meanwhile, men aren't taking any sort of step to help themselves have kids earlier in life. Why not just have the baby? Can you imagine me a mom now? Have kids earlier in life. Can you imagine me a mom now? Y'all, I've got some more concerts to go to. Dating in your 40s is terrible. Why does it have to be so bad? So let's talk being childless and possibly being single and being lonely. I'm, I'm not good at this. I don't know if I'm like just so f damaged. I'm talking about my son. 
he literally grabs the dessert menu and just starts looking at it. Like he's completely bored with what I'm saying. So my sperm arrived and was shipped to my clinic in Pennsylvania. So I just, I just had a very fun date with this really sweet guy. It was like super wholesome and, but I'm sharing about the fact what I'm doing here and I'm becoming a, a solo mom and. It's been a bit, it's been a bit, um, a little bit stressful and I haven't really been feeling like posting. But that's where it's so frustrating is like, why are we not told our options? Like even in our OBGYN appointments, like at 25, you're going in for your pap smear. It's all about birth control versus like, let's get an AMH on you. Let's talk about like family planning. Instead of a down payment on a house, right. I pay for my eggs to potentially be stored and potentially be used. Let's discuss why men my age don't seem interested in me. Uh, older men, when they date younger women, is because they find them more physically attractive than the older ones. So I'm 45 and my age range is from 33 to 65. I just don't think that men in their 40s are looking for other women in their 40s. Women have it 10 times harder than men. And I built this life for myself. I had in the Dominican Republic, breast augmentation, lipo under my arms along with Vaser. And then I had lipo 360 along with a tummy tuck, BBL, and then lipo and Vaser on my inner thighs. Stop it, get some help. 